and I've I've had some comments from a few guys out there talking about the bed on these Tacomas, particularly my bed coming loose and the issues I've had. Um, if you know, this is a composite bed. It's kind of like a plastic bed. It's still outside, but the inside is plastic and it bolted to the frame, right? So the issue I've had is that the two front bolts or the two front mounts come loose. The bolts are tight, but the bed starts coming loose so bad that I can actually pick this thing up and down. And I've had all kinds of comments saying that's because you got all this extra weight on here. It's because you got this uh, ladder rack on there. I mean, I even took it to the Toyota dealer because it was still under warranty. I go, hey, why not? You know, they wouldn't even look at it. They told me to take it back to the guy that put the shell on in the ladder rack. I'm like, what does that have to do with the bed coming loose? So I tried a few fixes on my own. And I've had uh, a whole lot of comments from you guys. And a few guys were telling me that the problem is that the frame flexes. These Toyota frames flex. And that's why the bed is actually wearing out. I do a lot of off-roading, a lot of heavy off-roading. And as the frame flexes, it's rubbing on the mounts and wearing those mounts out. Um, so I had to do some research and I found some links on the internet that show that these frames on the Tacomas are made to flex. I'm like, what? They're made to flex. Hmm. According to Tacoma USA, these frames are made to flex. Go, oh, wow, that's not very good. Um, so this is for a Tacoma. You know, the rest of the world, they don't sell Tacomas in the rest of the world. The rest of the world, they get Hilux. A lot of people in the rest of the world use their trucks for work. They got to be built heavy duty. Most people here in the United States buy a truck and most of them just go to the mall. So I can see the difference in the builds, but I'd expect something better, right? Especially for the kind of stuff I do. Um, so I got a link on here showing a Hilux, Toyota Hilux. In this video, they're stressing that the frame is rigid. It's boxed. I'm like, why don't they do that here in the United States? Well, most truck drivers here in the United States do not carry loads. Rarely do they carry loads. They're not used for work as much as trucks in other parts of the country. You know, no, other parts of the world. Other parts of the world, people buy trucks for work. They don't buy them as daily drivers. They don't buy them uh, grocery getters and crews in the mall. Yeah. So we got Tacoma Mall Crawler. Hilux is actually a Toyota work truck. Don't believe me? I'm going to post a link on here. And see for yourself. It's just a totally different view. A lot of people say it's the same truck. It's not the same truck. I've been saying that for years. That these Toyota frames are are built lighter than the Hilux. You know, Toyota Hilux and a Toyota Tacoma. Toyota Hilux is what the rest of the world gets. Here in the United States, we get the Tacoma. The Tacoma isn't built as well as the Hilux. And the problem with these trucks is the frames are lighter and the frames are made to flex. According to a Toyota, yeah, they're made to flex. Huh? Yeah. Coming up next, why Toyota deliberately built a frame for the new Tacoma that bends over bumps. When GM introduced the Chevrolet Colorado and GMC Canyon midsize pickups, it made a big deal about them having a box frame. 
But when Toyota introduced the new Tacoma pickup, it made a big deal about it not having a fully boxed frame. Instead, the Tacoma frame is made in three sections. Under the cab, it's fully boxed. Under most of the bed, it uses a reinforced C-shape. And at the end of the truck, it uses an open C-shape. The reason Toyota did this is because in extreme off-road conditions, it says you actually want the frame to flex. When a truck is twisted torsionally, a stiff frame will result in one of the wheels lifting off the ground. But by having some flex in the frame, you can keep the wheels firmly planted on the ground. Tacoma buyers tend to be serious off-roaders, with 40% of them buying TRD models. And that's why Toyota decided to leave an open C section at the end of the frame. I'm Peter, Toyota's product knowledge expert. I'm Glenn Gore. I've been four-wheel driving Australia my entire life. And I'm here to find out exactly what goes into the making of Unbreakable. Pete, we've just towed over 6,000 kilometres with over three tonne behind the Hilux. And the Hilux has had the reputation of its toughness and durability, but the competition seems to be catching up. What makes Hilux so unique? Everything about Hilux is made as tough as it can possibly be made. And that's what sets Hilux apart from the rest, but it's also what makes everybody else want to be Hilux. Hilux is really still ahead of the pack and the four wheel drive ute that everybody else aspires to be. There's so much work goes into making it the way it is. Like I'm often asked, where do you do your testing? Well, our test track is the world. But this Hilux, a great deal of the testing was done right here in Australia because not only do we have some of the harshest driving conditions on planet Earth, as you well know and you've tried to prove to us, we've got some of the toughest drivers that can dish out some really, really savage treatment to these vehicles. And they struggle to break them. So Pete, what's been done to improve the off-road capabilities of the Hilux? Most of that stuff you're never ever gonna see. It's all underneath. The chassis is the most impressive Hilux chassis we've ever seen. It's been strengthened. It's made with a double box section that interconnects to make it even stiffer and more rigid be than before. The springs have had the travel increase. Now, I'm sure you understand the need for maximum amount of wheel articulation, especially when you're off-road. And that's what the engineers have tried to build into Hilux's chassis. Wheel articulation, suspension travel, and the ability to do it with a load on board. So how's the chassis been improved? The chassis is very rigid, and the flex that's been built in to allow a bit of body movement and maintain comfort is in the huge mounts that attach the body to the chassis to absorb all of that vibration so you're comfortable inside, but underneath, the chassis stays stiff and the suspension does all of the hard work to keep the wheels firmly planted on the ground where you know you need them to be in order to drive the thing forward through even the harshest terrain. 